Hi, and welcome to our video blog on Alfresco Process Services. This will be a part one of a 10-part series providing details on Alfresco Process Services. We will start with an overview of Alfresco Process Services, move on to a live demo to build a process, deploy a process, and execute a process. Let's start with the overview. Process Services is Alfresco's enterprise workflow engine for paid subscribers that glues together an organization's business tasks and procedures to automate their business processes. How does Process Services fit into Alfresco's digital business platform? Process Services is one of three core components of the digital business platform. Next to Alfresco Content Services, which is the underlying repository storing the content files and offering the services of version control, security, smart classification, custom rules, full text searching, and so on. And Alfresco Governance Services, which provides compliance to manage information as records with specific disposition schedules and file plans. Alfresco Process Services has quite a few benefits to an organization. It provides ready-to-use visual tools to define how the business flows look like. These tools make it easy and efficient for business analysts or more technical workers to design and build processes and deploy them quickly to the end users. With flexible and dynamic task management, teams can work in a collaborative environment improving inter- and intradepartmental communication. Tasks can be spawned dynamically or on-demand and sub-processes can be launched from parent processes. One of Alfresco's key differentiators is its open thinking. Alfresco provides its customers with access to its source code. Process Services is actually based on Alfresco's open source community version called Activity. On top of being open source, Process Services has a rich set of open REST APIs to allow seamless integrations by any external application. These APIs allow access to all the services provided by the workflow engine, such as creating or completing a task, executing a workflow, etc. Process Services is highly extensible, allowing users to configure new form controls, data models, and process widgets, and allows developers to create new custom logic and REST endpoints. Following industry standards, Process Services complies with the Object Management Group's Business Process Model Annotation Specification, called BPMN, and the Decision Model Annotation, DMN. Business Process Model Notation, BPMN, provides a common graphical notation for different systems to support the same workflow models. This means that you can export a workflow defined by Process Services into an XML file and import into many other enterprise software vendors tools, such as Microsoft Visio, IBM Rational System Architect, Red Hat JPBM, Sparks Enterprise Architect, and many others. Decision Model Annotation, DMN, follows the specification for modeling and executing decisions that are determined by business rules. Process Services uses DMN, Decision Tables, to define each rule and are also shared in XML format. Process Services provides seamless integrations with any external REST endpoint to retrieve or update data and can manage its routed content with Microsoft SharePoint. Box, Google Drive, AWS S3, and of course, Alfresco. Finally, any other external application leveraging its open APIs can interact with the process, as mentioned earlier. To sum it up, process services can be scaled and clustered to provide high performance and resilience due to its stateless process engine. Let's take a brief look at the high-level architecture of process services. At the top, we have the visual tools where developers can use the App Designer, a plugin in Eclipse workspace, to build complex workflows. Next to it is the Admin App. This is the web console to monitor and troubleshoot stuck processes by administrators. And then you have the Process Services Workspace, or UI. This is the main tool 
to allow business analysts to build and deploy the workflows, execute and participate in the workflow, and view process analytics. And finally, users can use Microsoft Office seamlessly to edit the documents attached to the workflow tasks. In the next tier, in the middle, you have the underlying process services application, which consists of a distinct set of lightweight stateless services that provide access to the process engine and are exposed via the REST API. The services are the task service, which provides task creation and completion, the decision service, which leverages rules and logic to make decisions based on runtime process data, the query event service to share historical process data, the repository service to automate process deployments, the form service, which exposes form data, and finally the runtime service to support process execution. Because these services are stateless, the process engine is stateless, and it caters to clustering and highly available configurations. On the lower tier, the data tier, process services can integrate with any LDAP compliant directory for identity management, support storing its process data and context in any major relational database, provides analytics leveraging Elasticsearch, and finally can store the files RADA through its workflow, as I mentioned earlier, in AWS S3, Google Drive, Box, Native File Systems, and Alfresco. Well, this concludes our overview of Alfresco Process Services, Alfresco's business process engine and one of three core components of the Alfresco digital business platform.